This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, once again, I'm back and uh, now in this session, I'm going to explain. Uh, we'll discuss about a different uh, question and generally I just wanted to record a different question here, but uh, the current question which I'm going to explain here that is asked by one of my student. So I thought let me record this one itself. So first of all, we'll have a, a look on this question and then I'll explain my approach and then, uh, you know, I'll let you know, I'll explain this practically also so that it will be easy for you guys to explain during interview and for you, you know, you, you guys will be having a perfect understanding about this. So have a look on the question. Look at here, the question is, here is the question, okay? What is variant and then how many variant we can define? This is the question guys, what is variant? and how many variant we can define, okay? So now uh, the question I have specified here also, the same question, what is variant and how many variant we can define. Now, if you talk about variant, then uh, lots of things will be coming in our mind, in your mind, that is posting period variant, fiscal year variant, field status variant, right? So these questions are related to those, uh, what is the setting itself? So, and uh, most of you might also think that it's a pretty simple questions. I'll be able to answer this. So guys, none of the questions are simple, right? Uh, here, okay, so we'll give some example and then I'll explain this. What is this variant? Okay, now let's suppose we are having a company code. So first of all, we'll explain this like uh, what I said, like we are having fiscal year variant. Right, then we are having posting period variant. We are having field status variant, right? Now, so field status variant, FSV. Now, so the question is, what is this variant? Okay, now take example of any other variant and then I'll explain why do we set up this variant at all? Because in order to understand what is variant, we need to understand why do we set up this variant? What is the use of this variant? Then you guys will be able to answer this question. Though this question looks like very small, but I'll tell you 90% of the people are going to give confusing answers and which is why it is going to create a negative score. Whenever you give the interviews and all, whichever answers you guys are going to give, those answers are going to create a negative score and positive scores for you guys, right? So even though you think that you have given a you know, perfect what to say answers and all, but uh, if the interviewer is not satisfied, then it is, it will not be having any impact. Now, so we'll just do one thing. We'll take an example. Let's suppose we are having a company code. Take example of any of this variant, whether field status, posting period, fiscal year, whatever it is. Take example of posting period variant itself and I'll explain this. Now, so we'll do one thing give a company code i'm having a company code t101 okay this is our company code okay this is our company code now okay so this is your company code this is tata motor let's suppose this is Tata Motor. So what is happening guys, if you talk about Tata Motor, then first of all, we have to set up this Tata Motor as a company code, right? And then we have to do some basic settings. We have to do some basic settings, like you have to set up this posting period variant, free status variant, fiscal year variants and all. So now what is happening in basic setting, we have to create a posting period variant also. Let's suppose we have created T100 as a posting period variant, okay? This is your posting period variant. This T100 we have set up as a posting period variant. And then this posting period variant, what we have, are we going to do? This posting period variant we have to assign against company code. First of all, let's suppose we have set up this company code. This is a mandatory setting which you must have to do. Now the next step is we have set up posting period variant under basic settings. We have set a posting period variant and then this posting period variant need to assign against company code. 
and then what will happen guys then against this posting period variant against this posting period variant let's suppose this t100 is there against this posting period variant we are going to open and close we are going to open and close the period okay why do we open and close the period guys i have already uploaded uh, some videos on youtube itself basic setting one two three that is related to basic setting itself you can watch that video so now here uh, against this posting period variant let's suppose what is this uh, this is february february means 11th period because for india we always follow follow like uh, april to march that is the financial year so february is 11th period so what is happening we are going to how this posting period is going to be controlled guys let's suppose this is your t100 will be there and then here we are going to open 11th period 2018 and 11th period 2018 don't be confused guys even though we are in 2019 but if you talk about our financial year then as for financial year still we are in 2018 itself because the financial year is going to be closed this 2018 is going to be closed will be will be there till the march month from april 1st onwards we are going to switch to a new financial year that is 2019 okay hope you guys will be having the understanding because i know whoever is watching this videos you guys are SAP practitioners. Somebody has already taken the training and few people, you might be taking this, this training setup. So this much understanding you should have. Now, so what is happening here against posting period variant, against posting period variant, what is happening? We are going to open and close the period. So if I have opened like 11th period means what? 11th, this is called from period, right? This is from and this is to period, okay? And this is year. This is also here. This is what it's there in OB52. Okay. So now here, first of all, we have created company. Then we have created posting period variant. And then posting period variant has been linked against the company code. And then, then against posting period variant, we are going to open this period. So what is happening here? Only 11th period is open. Okay. So if you are going to post any transaction, Let's suppose in January month, then what will happen? System is going to check against which company code this transaction is getting posted. So system came to know that company code is T101, right? And then what will happen? Then once you post the transaction, then system is going to check which posting period has been, which posting period has been assigned against this T101. System found that posting period is T100. Then again, in background system is going to check. Then against this, that against T100, which period is open? Then system found that period is what? 11th period. It means February month is open. If you are going to post any transaction in January month, in the sense January month means what? That is a previous period. So look at here. In from and to only 11th we have given. It means the 10th period is closed. Okay, it means no past posting is going to allowed and no future posting is also going to allowed. Anyway, in real time, future posting is not possible. Generally, it is not allowed for this one. What is a transaction posting? Okay, now, so here, no past posting is allowed here. You can post a transaction in January month only if the 10th period is also open. It means from 10 and to 11. It means January and February both are open. So this is the use of posting period variant, right? This is the use of posting period variant. It means posting period variant is going to control. It is going to control your posting period during transaction posting. If you want to avoid any transaction posting in the past period and future period, then what will happen? Always current period only will be open here. If it required, somebody says that, okay, I have to post like, uh, I forgotten to enter certain JB in the previous period. So kindly open this period and then we have to. So they are going to approach, approach their TL or manager and they are going to open the previous period just for few minutes or few hours so that the user is going to post this, what to say, uh, transaction. And once again, these people will open 11 here. It means 10th period is closed. So this is a brief, uh, what to say, explanations I have given about this posting period variant. Now here, so the question is, first of all, the first thing which 
might come in your mind or let's suppose first thing which is coming under my mind also that why we have to set up posting period variant this is extra step has been given by sap right why do we have to set up this posting period variant right instead of creation of this posting period variant it sap if sap allow us to open the post you know period and open and close the period against company code itself then instead of creation of t100 we can open against company code itself t101 right so what is happening we are having several steps like what are the steps creation of company code right then creation of posting period variant right then assign posting period variant to company code right and then open and close posting period right so these are the steps guys step number 1 2 so this is required this we must have to do now if system is going to allow is sap is going to allow let's suppose here we have created a company code t101 right t101 now if system allow us directly to open and close the period against our company code itself against company code itself then do these two steps these two step whichever we are following creation of posting period variant and assignment of posting period variant to the company code this is not required so why sap has given this extra two uh, two steps and saying that no don't we cannot what to say uh, assign a posting we cannot open and close the posting period directly against company code you must have to create a posting period variant and this posting period variant must be assigned must be assigned against your company code right so this is the steps these two extra steps have been given by sap inserted by sap okay so now in order to understand this question answer that why do we have to follow these two extra steps i have to add some more example what i have to add some more example in the sense like let's suppose i'll just do one thing let me log in and uh, i have done some setting so i'll just show you guys okay so now we'll do one thing so how to set up company code guys by 02 use ox02 and i am having tata motor t101 i have already set up look at here t101 apart from this we are talking about tata motor it means this is the subsidiary of tata group right so tata motor is having several other subsidiaries also what are the other subsidiaries guys look at here tata steel tata power tata chemical so and uh, that to india then tata chemical europe also right this is a different subsidiary guys where the tata motor has sorry tata group has acquired uh, i think burner and mount there was a company in uk so they have acquired that one so this is a different subsidiary apart from this tata steel europe also is there where uh, this one some uh, chorus group plc was there that was acquired by tata uh, uh, what is a group at all so this is a different subsidiary right so i'll just do one thing let me copy these things this much itself and i'll just do one thing here paste it here okay so now now what is happening guys now we are having tata motor tata steel tata power tata chemical india and then these are two belongs to europe okay this is from india right so these till here subsidiary are in india and this is europe so these two it is there in europe right so now <clears throat> what we have done we have set up company code these many company codes are there now posting period variant okay so if you talk about if you talk about the posting period variant before that we'll talk about fiscal year variant also okay so now if you talk about financial year here in all this companies which is there 
operating their business in India. Okay, so what is happening? These people will will be having which which financial year they are going to uh, what to say follow here that will be April to March, right? April to March. In short format, in shortcut, I am typing here. Don't be confused. A to M means April to March, and these all the European subsidiaries are going to follow Jan to December, right? Jan to December. Okay. Now, so now here, what is happening? I'll just do one thing. So these are the company codes we are having. If you talk about setting up posting period variant, okay, create a new system. So this is a mandatory setting. I'm just going to create a posting period variant. Okay. OX, sorry, OB, BO. This is the transaction code. And uh, let me create one posting period variant. A T100 itself, I'm going to create a posting period variant here. Just an entry, entry is already exist, right? So we'll have to check. I think it is already created somewhere. Let me check. T100. Okay. So look at here. So this is already set up. That's not a problem. So we are going to use this. So now posting period variant, posting period variant, one posting period variant I've set up. Now what next guys? Then in the next setting, OB, BP. We have to assign this posting period variant. Make it no because I have already opened certain. Yeah, this is already open. So let me come back from this one and then I'm use I'm going to use OBPP once again. Now click on T101 here. T101 and here I have assigned posting period variant T100, right? T100. So now what is happening guys? Now open one more screen. Open one more screen. And go to OB 52 and let's suppose I'll just copy one and here give T100 and open like this is 11th period right 2018 to 11th 2018 press enter and save it so this what is happening this we have created T100 posting period variant and this T100 is assigned against which company code we have assigned against Tata motor, right? So 11th period is open, right? 11th period is open. This is February. Now, what about other company codes? What about other company codes, guys? These company codes are also following April to March itself. So for these people also 11th period is itself running, right? So now what is happening? If you if you open a posting period, if SAP uh, SAP says that you have to open a posting period, you have to open a period uh, against company code itself. So likewise, you are having hundred company codes. You are having let's suppose hundred company code in India. Then hundred time you have to open the same period against each and every company code. But right now, what is happening? We have created a posting period variant, assigned the same posting period variant against all your Indian companies. And once this T100, right? So once we open period number 11 here against T100, then T100 is assigned against all company code guys. Against all company code Tata Motor, Tata Steel, Tata Power, Tata Chemical. It means period number 11 is open. Period number 11 is open against all company code. Okay, now here there will be other uh, requirement also like can it possible like uh, that uh, we can control the period or we can open a period for a particular company code, particular users and all that is already explained in basic settings. You can watch that video, right? So here I have to explain what is variant, right? In order to explain this variant, I'm giving this much example so that you guys will be having a perfect understanding. So what is happening guys? We have created posting period variant only one posting period variant we have created that posting period variant is going to use against Tata motor also Tata steel also Tata power also Tata chemical India also. 
right? So it means what is happening, guys? It is going to be reused. The same posting period variant we have assigned against every company code, whichever is there. Like let's suppose <coughs> where it is. So here, here against like let's suppose T hundred, right? Here also T hundred, and here also T hundred, right? So this T hundred we have assigned against all this company code, whichever is operating their business from India. So for these company codes, what is happening? They are following April to March. Okay. So the same variant is going to be reused again and again against different different company code, right? Now. So what is happening, guys? What is happening here? So here, if somebody asks, what do you mean by posting period variant? Then guys, posting. Sorry, if somebody asks, what do you mean by variant? So guys, variant is a reusable setup. Variant is a reusable setup. This posting period we have created. Why have we created this posting period variant, or why we have created this posting period as a variant? Because if you are going to set up this as a variant, then one variant can be used by several company code, right? So it is a reusable setup. It is reusable setup means this company code, this company code, this company code. Right, these four company codes are going to use the same posting period variant. Likewise, if you are having 400 company code, generally in real time, uh, this much company code is not possible. But still, anything is possible, right? Well, uh, what to say? Uh, in one country, it is not possible, but still, I'm just quoting an example. Let's suppose you are having 400 example. Okay, so, uh, you are having 400 company code. So, what is happening for 400 company code also? only one posting period variant if all 400 company codes are using the same if, if they're having the same fiscal year same financial year if they're having then what will happen one posting period variant need to be created and that one posting period variant can be assigned against all the company code and then what will happen if you are going if you are going to open or close the post what is a period against this posting period variant tm 100 t 100 so this T100 is assigned against all 400 company codes. It means period 11 has been open for all 400 company code. Okay. If you are going to open period 10 here, 10 to 11, it means period 10 is open against all company code. Now there is a different, what to say, uh, explanations. And uh, again, there is some more things can be asked by people. Then let's suppose if I have to open period number 10 for some particular user, or for a particular company code or something. So how come it possible? How it is going to happen? So again, that is a different discussion, guys. That is already explained in basic setting. So here, if somebody asks, what do you mean by variant? So you have to say variant is a reusable setup. Now, the next question is, how many variant we can define? So guys, this one cannot be, uh, you cannot say uh, like surely that this much we can define three variant or four variant or two variant or, or several variants, right? It, it depends upon the requirement, but it, it depends upon the situation, right? Look at here, here as per this scenario, as per this scenario, how many posting period variants we have to set up? We have to set up a different posting period variant for these two. Why? Because they are in Europe, right? So they are following Jan to December. So what is happening as per April to March, this is February month, right? February month. So February will be what? February will be 11th period for all these company code because they are using April to March. So February will be 11th period. Whereas the same February is going to be treated as a say, period number two. It means second period for Jan to December. So what is happening? For these two, if you are going to open this, like if you give your two, then there will be a problem, right? You have to, because here with this one, we cannot. So this is this is not going to meet the what is the requirement. What we have to do, you have to do one more thing. It means we are going to set up. Let me come back. Let me come back here. Use OB, BO, and Again, where is T hundred? T hundred. 
Okay, so we'll copy this one and then you can create T200. Save it. So we have created one more variant, T200, right? And then OBBP slash and OBBP. So what is happening here? This OBBP, click on position. And what is your company code? Let's suppose T106 is there, I guess. Okay, so these are there, London. Okay, so these are operating from Europe, right? So here we have given T200. Okay, T200. A different variant. Okay, why? Because if you talk about here, copy this T100 itself, copy this T100 and make it T200. And here we are going to open period number second. And this will be 2019, guys, right? This is 2019. Look at here. Because if you talk about, if you're having Jan to December, then already we have entered in 2019. If you talk about April to March, then it will be 2018 itself because till March, we have to, we are going to, our fiscal year will be, our financial will be, uh, year will be treated as a 2018 itself from April 1st onward, it is going to be 2019. But calendar year means from January itself. So we are in February month. This is the second, second period of 2019. So here period number seven, second, and 2019 I have given period number second 2019. So what is happening now? So if you so here what is happening in this in this scenario? What is happening? I have created two different variant. Why? Because we are having two different fiscal year financial year. These four companies are having different financial year. Right. And these two companies are having different financial year. So as per April to March, we are in 11th period and as per Jan to December, we are in second period. So it means for these four company code, 11th period must be open. But for these company code, these two company codes, second period must be open. So what we have what we have done, guys, we have created two different fiscal year variant. Sorry, we, we have created two different posting period variant, T100 and T200. So T100 has been assigned against all the company code, which is based out here in India and T200 if we have uh, you know assigned against all the company code which is operating their business from Europe right so now what is happening against T100 we have open posting period 11 so it means whichever company codes are going to use posting period variant T100 for those company code 11th period is 11th period is open and whichever company code is using T100 it means whichever company code is using this T200 posting period variant for those company code what is happening uh, what to say, uh, second period is open. Okay, so now the question was, what is variant and how many variant can be defined? So hope the answer is clear. What is variant guys? So variant is a reusable setup. One variant we have set up and the same variant can be used against different, different company code. Okay, provided the those company code must be using the same fiscal year variant. Same fiscal year means financial year. That is a common what to say thing of uh, common logic guys right so what is variant variant is reusable setup and how many variant we can define so it depends upon situation or requirement okay what is this situation and requirement guys that is already explained here okay here in this case we need to define two different different posting period variant it could be three also it could be four also it could be five also so this cannot be say like only two only three only four it depends upon the requirement or situation. So that's all about guys. Uh, uh, that's all here in this session. Hope the answer will be uh, pretty clear. So that's all in this session guys. And uh, do subscribe this channel to get notifications of all uh, this upcoming videos and update. And if anybody is looking for uh, uh, SAP Figo online training, then kindly will it by your site kumarconsulting.in or you can call it given number. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon in next video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye. Have a good day.